So here's a problem. It says we have air, moist air. It's at 100 kPa, 101 atm, 30 degrees C. It's pretty warm, and a 50% relative humidity. The air is now cooled at constant pressure. We're not changing the pressure. So it stays always at 100 kPa total pressure. Determine the relative humidity if the air is cooled to 27 or 25 or 23. It's progressively cooled. What would the relative humidity do, you know, as it's progressively cooled? What do you think it's going to do? It starts when it was at 30 degrees C. Maybe I should have left room in there. At 30 degrees C, it was 50%. What do you think the relative humidity is going to be at 27, 25, et cetera, all the way down to 18 degrees C? All I'm doing is cooling it. It's going to go up. It's going to creep up. Okay? Let me just tell you the answer before I calculate the answers so that you can see the big picture because that's what I want you to see. We can grind through the mathematics. But it, uh, it goes to 59.5% or let's just say 60%. It jumps 10% if you cool it 3 degrees from 60 to 67%. Then it jumps to 76%. Then at 20 degrees C, it jumps to 91%. And then if you try to calculate it for 18 degrees C, it comes in at 103%. What do you think about 103%? Something happened where it hit 100% in a temperature between 20 and 18 degrees C. It became saturated air. That dew point it was hit. So this, these conditions up here tell you some dew point temperature for that moist air. And that moist air dew point is calculated to be 18.4 degrees C. How many people listen to the Weather Channel or anything like that? And you'll see everything. They'll say, okay, the temperature, the pre barometric pressure, the wind, and they'll often quote the dew point. They'll tell you the dew point temperature. It's telling you how much humidity is. They could tell you the relative humidity you calculate the dew point. So what they're doing when they tell you the dew point is, is if it cools to that temperature, you're going to get water condensing out. Okay, well, how do they make these calculations? Well, here's the important data that you need. You're going to need to know the saturation pressure at all of these temperatures, true? So what we first do is we say the relative humidity is equal to the ratio of the actual mole fraction of vapor, water vapor, in our moist air mixture divided by the maximum that it could possibly ever be at that temperature, okay, if it was if it was saturated, okay, and that turns out to be PV divided by P sat, or a lot of times we unravel it and we say the partial pressure is equal to the relative humidity times the saturation pressure. True? True. Okay, so we can say that uh, the uh, partial pressure is 50% times 4.246 kPa, and we calculate that that partial pressure is equal to 2.123 kPa. That's, that's the pressure the vapor exerts at these condition of the moist air. Okay? So what happens is, is he, as is the total pressure going to be changing as I cool it? No, it remains constant. It doesn't change. It always stays 100 kPa. True? Does the partial pressure of the dry air change as I cool it? No, it stays constant until some of the water vapor goes away. It condenses. So the partial pressure of the vapor stays constant until it hits the dew point. After that, there's not as much ideal gas water vapor in our moist air. It goes, it condenses out. But during this cooling process, this stays constant. 
So what we do is we say, what's the new relative humidity at 27? Well, the new relative humidity is going to be the PV divided by PSAT. Well, what changed then wasn't PV. That didn't change, but PSAT changed. It dropped. The capacity to hold water vapor was reduced as the temperature reduced. Or the it dropped as the temperature dropped. So this becomes, how did we calculate 60%? It was 2.123 divided by 3.567 kPa's. Likewise, how did we calculate 67%? 2.123 divided by, at 25 degrees C, the saturation pressure, 3.169. See what we're doing? The amount of water vapor is not changing. The mole fraction is not changing. The partial pressure is not changing. What's changing is, is the ability to hold a bunch of water vapor because it's cooler air. It's the saturation pressure is going down. This is going down, hence the relative humidity is going up until it hits 100%. That's when it when it cools to the when it gets 100%, then you hit your dew point. So usually you have to do a little interpolation to find your dew point temperature. Um, you just look at your temperature and PSAT, and uh, you find two values, 18 degrees C and 19 degrees C, that bracket or uh, the value of the PSAT that you have of interest. And we find that we wanted to calculate it at 2.123. Do a little, hey, linear interpolation. And you find that the temperature dew point, 18.4 degrees C.